back to the autumn term. We're coming to you live from the studio with Alex, Imogen and Rhiannon bringing you today's biggest headlines. Good morning Imogen. So good to be here. Today we're going to be hearing from some of our news correspondents all around the school, filling you in on the gossip from all departments. So now we're going to pass over to Nancy and Pippa coming to you from the PE department. We are here with the suspect in question, Miss Higgins. What do you have to say about the recent situation? I've been accused of stealing some badminton rackets and maybe a kettlebell, which I did not do. Well, we have some leaked footage of the crime taking place, so let's have a closer look. Miss Higgins, doesn't the suspect in the video look incredibly similar to yourself? No, I really don't think so. Miss Higgins, wait! <laughs> We've lost her. Back to the studio. Oh, what a scandal. Now for the weather where you are. Okay, hello. Now we're here with Miss Bird for a quick weather report. So today it's going to be bright and sunshiny all day with no clouds, no rain, bit of wind, a perfect day for running. Woohoo! Woo! Bye! Wave, Miss Bird! Bye! For the latest scoop on the creative side of Bromley High, here's Lucy and Nicole. Thanks, Alex. We're here in the drama studio with Mr. Graham. So, Mr. Graham. How are you coping with the new guidelines in the drama studio? Well, well as you can see, we've, we've got, we have to work at dis distance. We have to work at distance in the drama studio. Um, and, uh, and so, so... Chris Daniel, how is it being away from the Steinways for so long? Can you just hold it still? So, so what we've we've got these, so we've got these lines, so we've got these lines on the floor. Looks like they're having a few technical difficulties there. Anyway, running circles around all of her colleagues. Here's Mrs. Bird. Mrs. Bird, how do you feel about people ignoring the one-way system? Well, I don't think it's very respectful, and it's not keeping us safe. Right. Okay. I think that's all we need, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Bird. Here's a special guest star, Miss Jupp, who's finally returned from maternity leave. Today we're interviewing Miss Jupp. Hello, Miss Jupp. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. How are you guys? Good. How does it feel to be, you know, back at school? Um, it's nice to be actually back in actual school because I returned during lockdown. I was still in my dining room on my laptop with Etta running around everywhere. So and it's nice like to be nice. <laughs> back in actual school, it's nice. Yeah. Very good. How does this How's it to see your Bezzy, you know, Miss Garlic? <laughs> it's really nice to see Miss Garlic again. We can go on our little lunch dates together, oh, which is yeah, it's really nice. How cute, how cute. So have you watched that new David Attenborough, you know, documentary recently? I haven't actually watched it yet. <gasps> it is, it's safe. to the Jonathan's side, I think we need to cut the interview. <laughs> it's saved on my iPlayer. I'm going to watch it. I, I've heard it's very depressing. Yeah. So I'm kind of saving it for the right time. I might watch it this weekend. Well, I hope you do. And that's all from us, short humanity reporters. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. You've heard from Miss Jupp, and here's her bestie, Miss Garlic, accompanied by Dr Rowley on the latest COVID updates. We're live from B1, and we're with Miss Garlic. Miss Garlic, what's the best thing about being back at school? Hmm. Wearing proper shoes again. <laughs> I like being back in heels. My shoes miss me. <laughs> The best thing about teaching in lockdown definitely was not having to iron five shirts every Sunday morning. And that's it from the science department. Back to the studio. You're walking the wrong way! And finally, to add some motivation to your morning, here are some wise words from the one and only Mrs Drew. Mrs Drew, how does it feel to be back? How do you feel about coming back to school? Is it no comment! <laughs> Thank you for watching and we hope you have an enjoyable week.